Welcome to One Shot. This is a puzzle adventure game with some really interesting kind of fourth wall breaking stuff going on, as you'll see shortly. It's completely free and we'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Let's begin. Are you sensitive to flashing lights? I am not, but I'm assuming if anyone out there is, then you maybe don't want to watch? I guess, seizure warning? H Hello? An odd feeling of deja vu overwhelms Nico. Alright, so I've played roughly the first five minutes. So I know what to do right in the very beginning here, but let's just take a look around. I've got a computer here and I need to find the password. Ad infinitum. Now, funny thing happened the first time I did this. The first time I did this, I missed most of the stuff in this room and a bunch of other things. So I saw ad infinitum and I was thinking infinite. And then I thought to myself, hmm, maybe that's a hint to the password to the computer. I was thinking, well, you know what? The number eight kind of looks like the infinite symbol, except it's flipped around. So I thought maybe the password is 8888. Unfortunately, it's not. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. So there's a little lump in the carpet here. There's a TV remote underneath the carpet here. Nico picks it up. I think I've just gained a note. Let's go check that out. So this is made in the, I believe it's the RPG Maker engine. So it's got the typical kind of RPG Maker sort of um, UI, which is unfortunately very cumbersome to navigate. You must guide Nico through the game without quitting. And there is where I believe the name of the game comes from. One shot. There is no saving, as far as I know. But I think there'll be more about that a little bit later. Let me see, is there something here? Uh, to activate an item selected in the items menu, yeah. You can combine items and use them with various objects in the environment. Okay. Already know that stuff. It's locked. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. There's no need to do anything to it. Oh, I can't bring it back to life. Yeah, you can actually see yourself in the mirror, which is really cool. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. Yeah, it seemed to be some strange creature. I don't think I'm human. I mean, I seem to have ears, unless that's just part of my hat. And, um, my eyes are obviously extremely large, kind of like, uh... I can't think of a specific animal, but, you know, there's animals that have exceptionally large eyes because they're mainly, uh... They mainly are active at night. The bigger your eyes, the more light you can take in. There's no water in the toilet. The tub is completely empty. So it's a strange place that I've woken up in. I mean, there's freaking holes in my floor. Alright, so the key to this first puzzle is in the item that I got. The television remote. It's too hard to read in the dark light. So if I go ahead and use that with the light coming in from the window. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All of the numbers except 952 and 6 are missing. 9526. So that's the password. Mm -hmm. 
and this is pretty much as far as I played, and this is where things get really interesting. It seems I've finally been found. You're both far too late. Nothing left is worth saving. Surely Nico wants to leave, and there's nobody happier to fulfill that request than me. Keep in mind three things. First, your decisions have permanent consequences. Second, you may quit whenever you'd like. This is permanent failure and murder. And most importantly, this is the sort of meta aspect. This is actually a dialogue box that popped up out of the game, separate from the game. You only have one shot, Marshall. I'm assuming it pulled... I mean, I didn't input my name into this game, so I'm assuming it pulled it from maybe the name of my Windows account that I'm logged in as, or something. So it seems to be a bit meta. I guess I'm in a computer? I mean, I'm using a computer and the computer's talking back to me. Uh, not quite sure. But yes, apparently you only have one shot at this, and if you quit, your character dies. Note added. Quitting the game, quitting the game before you reach the end will kill Nico. Only have one shot. Alright, so this door just unlocked, and this is literally as far as I've played, so I have no idea what's gonna happen now. Hello? Anyone? The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Hmm. Could use that to light something, I suppose. Something on fire, maybe? Can I find any coins in the couch cushions? No? Damn. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Could it be lit, somehow? Hmm. Using the spark. Well, I think I need to light something else on fire with the spark first. Fridge? Food? Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Ooh, well, that's good for burning. That's a keyhole, I think. A tall rectangular panel of wood is set into the wall. Oh. It appears to be a door with no hinge and no handle. No amount of force can make it budge, either. A strange, somewhat circular symbol is carved into a central recess, roughly at eye level. Hmm. I just unequipped the remote. If you're wondering what that noise was. Door is locked, of course. The smell of the liquid is repugnant. Hmm. I don't think I just want to light the bottle of alcohol on fire on its own. Wouldn't that just explode? I mean, I could make a Molotov cocktail if I had some cloth, but I don't. Maybe I can grab some from the bed or something. Alright, we'll I have the alcohol equipped and I'm using it... I, I guess I'm using it on the TV, but it's not doing anything. I think you use stuff on other stuff just by having it equipped and then using the item with it equipped? I don't know. Maybe I can just pour it on the fire? The wooden fireplace? No. Yeah. That is how you use items, right? You equip it and then just use the thing? It's, it's not giving me any feedback. Let me see if I can get, like, bedsheets or something. No? Hmm. Yeah, RPG Maker games have very weird controls. Very... Just... Kind of convoluted and overly complicated for things that should be simple. Using items. 
To activate an item, select it in the items menu. Uh huh. You can combine items and use them with various objects in the environment. How do you combine items, though? Like, I select the item and it just puts it in my use thing. It doesn't allow me to, like, select another item. I have no idea. Nothing else in the fridge. I'm probably going to get stuck here just because I don't know how to do stuff. Alright, hold on. I'm going to check something out. Oh, it looks like you can... Wow, this is so convoluted. So you combine items by selecting it first in the menu, bottle of alcohol. Then it goes out of the menu. Then you go back into the menu and select a different item. Those can't be combined. Okay, that's how that works. Oh, RPG Maker Engine. How I love you. Not really. Oh, here we go. I'm supposed to take a branch from that dry... A uh, plant in the bathroom. Perhaps a branch would come in handy. Yes, it would. I wasn't sure if I was just like missing a way to interact with items, and so I thought maybe I was stuck because I had, I had the stuff I needed but just didn't know how to use them. But uh, no, it seems like I was actually missing something. Okay, I have a stick. That's great, but. Is that enough? I mean, I have alcohol, a stick, I have a place to get a spark from, but... Don't I need, like, cloth or something? I guess not. So, do I use the dry branch on this? The wooden fire... I wish it told me if it was attempting to use an item on something. It's, it doesn't give me a lot of feedback. I guess I'm trying to use the dry branch on that, but it doesn't work. Maybe I can combine it with the alcohol? Nika dips the branch into the alcohol. Okay, there we go. So I guess if the item combination doesn't work, like if I have wet branch attached and I use the TV, if it doesn't do anything, it just ignores the fact that you have an item and just gives you the usual description as if you tried to use it without an item. I think that's how it works. But this should work. Nico readies the branch. It lights up in a flash. Excellent. Hmm. What is this on the ground? Also, why is it a blue flame? It's ethereal. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. It's a basement key. Is that for this, or is it for the other door? Oh, it's for that door. Okay, this, <laughs> this basement goes really deep. What is that? A large light bulb rests on the ground. You could size to pick it up. Ooh! Well, that takes away a lot of a lot of the gloom. Can I use it on this door now? that doesn't know? Is it an item? It is. A giant yellow light bulb. Where did it come from? Alright, so let me select it. Does it automatically? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Everything's broken. Like I'm living in some long abandoned place. What actually is this? Are these. 
Are those televisions in like a display case or what? I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. Glass shelves? I really like the art in this game. It's very good looking. There's a pair of boots here. Nika picks them up. New note. Um. Fast travel. There's a lot more to this game than I thought. I wonder how long it is, because it is meant to be beat in one sitting. So I hope it's not like five hours long or something. You can press any number than any of the number keys to open the fast travel menu. From this menu, Nika will be able to instantly travel to locations already seen. However, you will be unable to access this menu indoors. Oh, that's cool. And then there's another note here. Uh, equipment? What was it? No, notes. Notes about equipment. I am shown in orange or equipable gear. Use the equipment menu to use these items. Okay. Uh, okay, so I've got boots. Cool. These boots will make it possible to move quickly. Do they? Oh, yeah. Super, super speed. And uh, what are these things? Is that like a pool of water? Well, let's go adventuring with uh, Nico and his nightlight. And his super boots. Eyes and glows a faint green. Follow the drain tracks. Oh, what's this? Is that a person? Hello? Uh, hello? Not very talkative. Looks like there's an extra spot in this boat. Do you want something? Do you want an empty bottle? Do you want a television remote? I didn't mean to combine that. Do you want a light bulb? I'm sure you've seen this particular bed before, Marshall. If Nico sleeps here, you can safely take a break from the game without consequences. The game will exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. Wait, I thought I can't quit. Are you saying I can quit? I thought quitting is murder. You can safely save and quit the game by resting at certain beds. I thought you can't quit. I thought quitting is murder. This is the only time before the end where you can quit without harm. Okay. I really have no idea how long this game is. Like, I don't know if I need... Should I save? Well, so there's no need to rest yet, but... I mean, I don't know. Is this game 10 hours long? <laughs> I really have no idea. The air here is too toxic to breathe. So this is where I came from, right? Yeah.
Hello. What is that? Ah! That light bulb! You're here! Hello? Welcome to our world, little one. I am most humbled by your presence. Uh, thanks. I'm a little lost. Ah, right. I will explain. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not really sure. I, I don't know why I just skipped that. I, I didn't press anything. Um, I see. Just as my prophecy foretold. You're the savior we've been waiting for. You'll be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Uh, ask me anything you'd like. Okay, how am I going to save the world? Uh, tell me about this world. Our world wasn't always this dim. Nor was it so empty. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. That spire you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, that's the thing I saw when I first stepped out, right? Where it was like panning up and showing this huge thing towering into the sky. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Alright, I'll see if I can find it. The light bulb. What is this light bulb for? Within your hands is our new sun. Many years ago, our sun sat atop that spire and spilled its life into the land. But one day, it ran dry. The surface of this world is abundant with phosphor, an element that stores light. It's provided us some illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light fades, the world will die. In the house, I found a computer which said something about someone named Marshall. Hey, that's me! Hi! I... huh? Um... Anyway, continue. Ah, our god. Oh sweet, I've always wanted to be a god. Dance for me, peasant. Have you contacted them yet? Huh? The traditional name of our god is Marshall. I'm not sure of the origin of this name. Being the bringer of our son, you have the ability to communicate with them. How I envy you. Close your eyes and try it. Well... Um, what's gonna happen? Hello? Marshall? Is that your name? Mm-hmm. Wow. I actually heard someone. This is incredible. Always look to them for guidance. You've already received more than you realize. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still don't know where I am, or who you are, or how I got here. This is too much. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. I am unable to offer you help beyond that. Is that all? Mm-hmm. I wish you luck. What is that thing, anyway? It's like a mono-eyed robot, I guess? It looks like a robot. Alright, well, it said there's a map somewhere around here. Recipe for a simple cleaning solvent. Note wear hand protection. Reagents. Aerobigo gas and an emulsifier. Any viscous liquid. Steps, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's not relevant at the moment. Wait, did it not save that? Okay, so I didn't pick up the note. I'm going to have to come back here if I want to read it, I guess. 
Oh well. There's a lot of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Map of the world. And it's got lots of stuff that I can't read. I can read the spire, the others, nope. What does that say? The glen? The glade? Glan? I don't know. The barons? The something? Uh, okay. Right, well, I'm on the outskirts. That much I know. One. A robot may not injure a human being or through an action allow a human being to come to harm. These are the, uh, like Isaac Asimov's, uh, what are they called? Laws of Robotics, I believe they're called. A robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Why would that be there? Is it talking about the robot outside? Assuming that is a robot, which it certainly looks like one. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. Of course, now they say it's the Barrens. But I still wonder. What's beyond the void of the sheer cliffs? Is there a whole undiscovered world below us? I don't like thinking about it. Maybe I'll get to find out. Or wait, am I already in the undiscovered area? Maybe I am, I'm not quite sure. Screwdriver? That should come in handy. There might be something useful in this box. I wish I had something to pry it open. Ooh, what do you know? A screwdriver! The screwdriver's not nearly big enough to pry it open. Oh, pff. You puzzle tease. Is this another jar of shrimp? A lot of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. Hmm. I don't have anything that could pry it open, right? Nope. All these jars of shrimp. Are they like night lights? Another miner fell into the abyss today. That's the third this week. Maybe it's not much of a concern for you, but we need better safety conditions. This is unacceptable. Please tell that girl to hurry the hell up with those robots. We can't afford to lose any more men to easily preventable accidents. They're making robots? This appears to be a battery, but it's too heavy to take. Revolutionary self-charging solar battery! Five-year warranty included. Well, a solar battery is not very useful without a sun. Simply place your self-charging battery in full sunlight to charge at an incredible rate. No external power needed. Well, if I hold the sun within my hands, can I just like... Use the light bulb? Light from this jar of shrimp is charging the battery. Oh, okay. That's gotta, that's gotta be a really slow charge, though. So maybe there's a way to, like, excite the shrimp and make them glow brighter or something? Um, I don't know. Do I need to charge the battery? Maybe I don't. 
I don't really have any reason to believe that I actually need to charge it, so I guess I'll just leave it. Okay, so we're gonna fast travel to quite a few places. Hello, what is that? Is that a bar? A piece of metal railing. Ooh, maybe I could use it for something like opening the box, for example. It doesn't fit in the cracks enough to pry it open. Oh, damn it. Maybe I could flatten it somehow. Um, how would I flatten it? I don't think combining it with the screwdriver would do anything. Nope. Hmm. Can I, like, get the minecart to roll, like, roll over it? can't seem to interact with the minecart, or whatever this is supposed to be. sponge. What's it doing here? No idea what I could do with that. I don't really have anything that I want to clean. Ooh, hello. This pond is a lot different than the other ones. The water is all gooey. Hmm. I could get some of the water using the empty bottle, perhaps? There's no way the goop will fit in this bottle without some sort of funnel. Hmm. Uh, I don't think a metal rod would count as a funnel. A flat sponge with a rough surface. What if I use the sponge on this? The pond is a lot different than- yeah. Uh, I'll just wait to see if I find something else. Maybe I can actually find an actual funnel. Want to make sure I don't miss anything. to enter any of these buildings. Ooh, what is that? A pair of gloves. Ooh, I need that for the... What was it? The recipe for... Uh... Something? They're a bit heavy. Well, suck it up. Because this is an adventure game, so you need to wear everything. Stuff everything in your pockets. Put on 50 pairs of clothes. Gloves designed to prevent chemical damage. There we go. This looks like a solar panel. I think just by being near it, the light bulb is powering these machines. That does not look like a solar panel. That does not look anything like a solar panel, but okay. 
All right, so I could charge something if I needed to. Mm, I don't have anything to charge, though. Is that a broken robot? It's beyond repair. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. Are you excited? Surely you're sick of living in that awful capsule wall... thing. I bet you can't wait to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Awful capsule wall thing. Is that what these buildings are? Oh no, it's a bit of a maze. Let's go left. And left again. Oh god, where the heck am I? It's beyond repair. It's the head of a robot. It's like random robot parts. I'm gonna suffocate here. Well, I am your god. You must continue and die. Hmm. It's like a scrapyard. A camera. It's broken, though. A broken camera featuring a large screwed-in lens. Screwed-in lens, hmm? Well, I know a thing or two about screwing. Let me see if I can get this lens out. Done. Alright, so that gives me a lens. Uh, a flawless large lens. No idea what I'm going to use that for. Hello? A light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I was expecting someone... taller. I mean, what are you, some kind of cat? No offense, but a tiny little thing like you doesn't exactly scream savior material to me. But that person says there's no mistake. So I guess I don't have a choice. And I'm not a cat. You gotta look like a cat. <laughs> Alright, cat eyes. If you ask me, you're probably better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. You've seen it, right? It's literally falling apart. Not even bringing back the sun can change that. Then... But I suppose you can't just, you know, up and leave, huh? That's what I asked the person who told me. He couldn't... he couldn't help. Let me think about this for a moment. You are headed towards the spire, yes? I think so. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, or sun, isn't it? Uh-huh. Way up top. If that weird robot's prophecy is correct, that place holds a force that nobody could comprehend. Maybe it'll send you back home after you do what you're supposed to do. Oh. Don't take my word for it, though. Yeah, we'll see. The amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. With such a high concentration, it seemed impossible that anything with lungs could exist. It remained quite a mystery until our scientists realized the shrimp scattered in the pools were actually consuming it. Hmm. Without those shrimp, life wouldn't be. It's kind of depressing to think that we can't thank them. Still, we wore masks to be safe, especially around active vent sites. The replacement of our workforce by robots soon rendered masks unnecessary. I wonder what happened to them all. I can't even remember where I placed mine. 
Okay, so it sounds like I'm gonna find masks just like left behind in some old locker that nobody cares about. Or perhaps it's inside of that box that I need to pry open. Hmm. Seems that even the robots have died off though, for the most part. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mine. I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but you must leave soon, too. It's only a matter of time before the ro the rowboats are recalled. At least let me know you've got my message, okay? Kip. A box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but... This plastic syringe seems to be okay. The heck am I going to do with a syringe? The needle is particularly long. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff. A metal rod, a syringe, a lens, a sponge. Can I combine it with a bottle? Nope. I have no idea why you'd, why you'd be able to. Just wanted to try it. Anyone want to play chess? A chess set. Guess it must be pretty boring here to be alone. Would you like to play? What's inside of the spire? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I see. I don't see how you couldn't with those big ol' eyes of yours. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Wait a minute, can I not go up? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay. Alright, so I went straight left here in this maze. Well, actually, I've been adventuring for a while. I think I want to save. Um, how does this work? Um... Where was the save point? Was it the outpost? Where was the save point? It wasn't in here, was it? No. Was it in here? Yes? No? No, it wasn't in here. I don't even remember where the save point was. Where was it? Dormitories? No. I don't remember. Was it up above? It was somewhere around the starting area. I remember that. I think it's up here. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, here we go. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Your god approves. Yes. Okay, and the game just shut off. Which is kind of awkward, but that's actually kind of what I wanted to have happen, because I just realized this episode is actually kind of approaching on an hour long. So I should probably end it. Yeah, I have no idea how long this game is. No idea. The fact that it says that you can't quit without ki killing your character made me think it was probably under an hour long, but it looks like it's actually significantly longer. But so far, it's really intriguing. It's very interesting. The meta elements of recognizing me as the player, specifically in calling me like a, a god, the one giving guidance to this person who's supposed to save the world, is interesting. It's not something I've seen a game do before. And I'm curious where they're going to take that. You know, how, how far they're going to run with the concept. I guess we'll find out. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.